Hello, welcome to SharePoint journey. This is Devendra Veligendla. In this video, you will learn how to package and deploy SharePoint Designer workflow, which is built using SharePoint Designer 2013. One of the common methodology we use for deploying is we develop the workflows in the local environment or the individual machines and whatever the workflows we develop here that needs to be deployable in across the various environments okay and one more thing to be considered here is whenever we are moving the workflows across the environments you need to have all the dependencies like place libraries etc available in the target environments like dev u8 in production okay and and also the lists and libraries naming conventions also should be the same whatever you have it in local environment in sharepoint 2010 workflows this feature was available only for reusable workflows now in 2013 you can package and deploy all type of workflows which is list workflow site workflow and reusable workflow okay so let's open a sharepoint designer 2013 so this is our sharepoint designer where we have opened our site so in this example we we have a workflow called log to history list and this is in one of the site collection so for example we will move this one to a different site collection so that you could use the similar example while working with your local machine and moving the same to different environments so it works with the same way okay so just uh, once you select the log history list from the workflows so you will have an option here to save as a template okay so just click on that whenever you click save as a template this template will automatically save to site assets library so click ok now from the left navigation you could see a site assets here so just click on that now we can see that one wsp package has been created with the name of log history list okay so what we'll do is we will export this file using export file option and save it in our local desktop okay just save it here now we have the workflow now it has been successfully exported to this particular location so click ok now okay now we have the wsp package now let me open the sharepoint site this is my source one so i am going to open the destination site collection which is sites team site this is my destination site collection where i will be deploying that workflow okay so the log history list is associated with one of the list which is present in this particular site this is called the product list so this is where the existing workflow is working in the source site now as i said we need to move the all dependencies from source to destination so what i'm going to do in this example is i'm going to save this list as a list template and move it to the destination location in your case if you have built the list using visual studio then you need to make sure that you deploy this list before you deploy the uh, workflow okay so to save this one as a list template go to list list settings save list as a template now just provide the same name as products the template name is also same i don't want data here so i'm just leaving that include of content as uncheck click ok so this will create a list template go to list template gallery now i have products list template so just download that okay so now i have downloaded that list template now go back to the destination site collection this is my destination site collection so what i have to do first now is i have to make sure the list is available here so let's go ahead 
and import that the list template from web designer galleries from here I can go to files upload a document and I can browse the file which I have just downloaded okay now this is the file which I downloaded just click OK just save it now I have a list template available here I can go to site contents and click on add to create a new list I'm going to quickly search for the products so this is the list template available so I'll create a new list out of this I'm going to use the same name products click on create to create the product list now I have a product list which is already available now the next step is we have to import the solution which is already exported from the designer so to do that go to site settings and open solutions under web designer galleries from here all the sandbox solutions will be available so just click on upload solution to upload the file and go to desktop training log history list and click ok so now we have just uploaded let's activate this WSP as well now we have the workflow WSP which is uploaded and activated successfully now to make this workflow available we have to activate a feature because once you activate the feature then only it will be available so to activate that we have to go to manage site features and the site sections and go to the bottom here you can see that a feature is available with the workflow name okay so just click on activate that once it is activated successfully yep now go back to the product list go to list and workflow settings now i can see that log history list is already available okay so let's go to product list and let's remove the old columns which was coming from the old list i don't want that so i'll be just removing uh, this one okay now let's go back to the product list okay now we have completed the product list and workflow is activated we have seen that workflow is available so let's go ahead and add a new item here to test our workflow product or i would say a new product click save and to see the workflows select the item go to workflows from item action menu and i can see that log history list workflow is available let's click on that so once you click on that refresh it again i can see that the workflow is started now you could see that the status is started and here in the workflow history it says we can't find the history list for this workflow please contact help desk now we have taken care of the product list which was in source and the workflow but we haven't seen whether the workflow history list is available or not so to fix this go back to the product list in the open workflow from here and if I see the workflow from here it is says select the workflow list as a new one okay now create I, I could change this one as well create a new item will start this workflow so just click OK to make sure that this will use a workflow history list now still for the old items we don't have any data earlier we were just getting the message now you could see here there is no data for this particular item the workflow history list has been created so let's create a new item again test new product 
this time click on save this time the workflow should start whenever new item is added yes because we have changed the settings and if I go to status now you could see so in the second case we have changed the settings and it created whenever we modified the workflow the workflow list has been history list has been created so that's the reason this is completed now okay so so far in this video we have seen how to package and deploy the workflow which is built from SharePoint Designer 2013 across the site collection sheet in this Office 365 site whereas in your on-premise environment you can do the similar thing so make sure all the prerequisites are available in the destination environment like UAT or staging or production environments and package that workflow and upload it to solution gallery and activate it and activate the relevant feature i hope this session is helpful for you if you want to see more sessions please log on to sharepointjourney.com thanks for watching this session